Hi my loves, it's Maya and welcome back to Makeup My World. Today I have for you my IMATS 2015 haul. I had the opportunity to visit IMATS with my family a few weeks ago. I took my mom, my brother, and my cousin with me and we were able to enjoy this fairly good sized convention filled with vendors, filled with people that are doing makeup for TV and film, cosmetology schools. It's just a huge area where you get to go and mingle with people who are fellow makeup junkies, fellow makeup artists, and just be able to experience, learn more, buy more, and have a great time. And if you're not familiar with IMATS, it is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. It's held in Pasadena, London, New York, all over the world once a year at each location and area they hold the convention in Pasadena once a year and it's usually at the beginning of the year. When you go to IMAT, they have talks and demos throughout the day. You get, you're able to meet people who are students and are already in the industry. You even get to meet up with a lot of YouTubers that attend the convention from year to year. I've been fortunate enough to meet up with That's Hard and Tiffany D and I they're just wonderful people and you really get to interact with them on a personal level when you see them at the convention conventions, which I absolutely love. The other thing that I love is the amount of vendors that show up to these things. Not only that, they also give you a great discount when you're shopping at these conventions. So of course, I did a bit of damage. So let's go ahead and start getting into these bags so I can show you the haul that I brought home from IMAX 2015. So when we first walked into the convention, I knew that I wanted to go to the Sigma booth first. When I went to IMAX a couple of years ago, I stood in line, or actually my mom stood in line, <laughs> for Sigma for three hours in order for me to get the set of brushes that I wanted. And granted, they give you a pretty decent discount from shopping at the conventions, but the fact is that you get to see all of their products in one place. You get to talk to people about them, which is really beneficial if you don't know what you really want or you you know that you want some brushes, but you don't know which ones suit you best. And at the convention, you have a lot of people who know about the product and can really instruct you on which way to go. And the great thing about Sigma is a few years ago, they started working in cosmetics and makeup and they've came out with eyeshadows. They've collaborated with YouTubers to create eyeshadow palettes, eyebrow products, eye bases. Now they're moving into lips. They have an entire makeup line of their own that they're now selling to the public and I definitely picked up some of those things. So let's go ahead and see what I picked up from Sigma. What I really wanted to pick up from Sigma the most was this brush set and it's the Extreme Color Payoff Kit. And all of the brushes in this kit specifically are a lot denser. They're meant to be used to pack on the color and in this, let me take these out of here. And in this set, you're gonna get the most densely packed brushes that they have in their collection and these are meant for exactly what it's named for, for color payout. You really wanna pack on color, you wanna get a really nice saturated, deep, dark eye, not even dark, but a very true color payout for your shadows. You wanna use denser brushes. You wanna make sure that your eye is completely matted out or you wanna use something like one of these brushes for like concealer. This is perfect. So in this kit, you get the E20 short shader, you get the E30 pencil brush, you get the E44 firm blender, and then you get the E57 firm shader, you get the E58 cream color, and then you get the E59 wide shader. So all of these brushes are definitely meant to be used with cream products, powder products, liquid products, you can run the entire gamut with them. And the quality, they're just amazingly soft. The, the ferrules are nice and sturdy. The brush handles are nice and substantial. It's just a great set. So the other line of products that Sigma has are their makeup products. And they've come out with these two glosses called Lip Switch. And you can tell by the holographic boxes. These are multifaceted holographic every color in the rainbow lip glosses. So the two colors that I got, this one is otherworldly and this one is double whammy. And let's open double whammy up first so you guys can take a look at the color. If you see this on camera, it looks like it's really pink, but it's actually not just pink, it's 
very electric purple, uh, neon -y green, a hint of fuchsia. It's just, it runs the gamut of colors and it has a brush tip applicator and swatching it, it actually goes on very inner iridescent and shimmery. I'm not even sure if you guys can see that. Just a great product to top any lip color. You can put this over your deep ones. You can put this over your nude ones. It doesn't feel overly sticky. It's actually a really nice feeling product. And I just love the feel of it. It's really moisturizing and it doesn't feel overly tacky. It's, it's such a great product. The other color that I got is Otherworldly. And I liked this one, even though it's very similar to Double Whammy. It's more of a clear tone and it's got a lot of colors that remind me of a sunset. You like yellows and oranges, a slight light pink. And from the camera, it's looking a bit like green tone, but it's more clear and it's definitely got a hint of orange to it. I don't think you're gonna even be able to see this on my, my hand. But right, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these closer for you. But if you see that, look at that iridescence. That looks great over the lip color I'm wearing right now. It's just an amazing, it's an amazing array of colors and they have so many to choose from. So go to sigmabeauty.com. You guys can see the entire color range, but I picked up two just to play with. So the two other products I got from Sigma is the lip concealer and the shimmer cream. Shimmer cream is a new product. It's actually, a cream base and it's not necessarily meant to be used for the eyes you can use this as a cream highlighter you can use it on your lip you can use it on your eye anywhere you want extra shimmer this is where you're gonna put that product so in the pan it looks like it's a deep rose color if you corally tone to it but when you swatch it it actually doesn't really come up with the color it just comes up with the shine and let me go ahead and I'm just gonna put that right there and you'll see that it's gonna go and pick up whoa, a lot of light right through there. It's just got that bit of reflection here. And it doesn't look like I'm oily, it just looks like a very pretty highlight color. I like that a lot. So that is the color Superb in the Sigma Shimmer Creams. The other product I got, I think it's fairly self-explanatory. It's a lip concealer. Uh, my lips are fairly pigmented right now. I have a really fair nude lipstick on so it's cu it's cutting the color of my lips but on a normal basis they're very dark and so putting lighter colors on my lips aren't isn't always possible. I can only go this light before it starts looking just awful. So I try I thought I'd try a lip concealer and it looks just like a regular basic concealer. Um, it's called Lose the Halo Lip Concealer go through, put it on your, you just basically blank out your lips. You can put any color on over it. And it's supposed to be really moisturizing and not feel drying at all. And it feels actually like the shimmer cream, very light. And it actually just blends into my skin flawlessly. I mean, you can't even see it. It's just shinier where I put it on. Can't wait to try this out. I'm trying to go a bit lighter through the fall, the time that I haven't been um, filming on YouTube. I've been really going towards the deep dark reds, the deep dark burgundies, because you know, it's winter. This is when I get to pull it off. But going into spring, I wanna be able to wear those watermelon and corally colors. So I'm hoping this will help me out. The thing I love about shopping at the Sigma booth is every purchase you make with Sigma, they give you freebies. And this one is, a sample eyeshadow palette. It's one of those sample cards to have the eyeshadows on it. Nothing's remarkable, but the actual colors that they give you, it's just amazing how many they give you. You know, it's like one of those one or two time use cards, but these things, if you guys ever get your hands on them, they're great for overnight trips. If you guys think that these are a waste and you just toss them, save them for if you ever go out of town for a weekend. This is next to no space in your luggage or purse. And it's a great place. It's a great way to travel with eyeshadows without having to worry that you just broke a palette. So these are great. The other thing that they gave is the E21 smudge brush. And this is a travel size brush here. 
and it's amazing that they give you an actual brush to go home with when these naturally cost money from them so it's a nice pink sigma handle it's e21 it's got a great dense uh, bristles at the top it's very soft and natural smudger brush and I like that you know I already was uh, planning on spending money and then I get to walk away with a couple of freebies which is cool so that's it for Sigma so let's move on so the next couple of things I got just from the standalone booth one of them I visited was Graftobian and if you guys aren't familiar with Graftobian they're they've got a lot of professional theatrical makeup they're really well known for their color wheels where you have uh, eyeshadow color wheels foundation concealers and in this case I picked up a corrector palette I have in my makeup stash from visiting IMATS a couple years ago a concealer palette from Graftobian and this stuff is amazing it's just you know it's five different shades of product and you just you pick it up in your color family and this one is tan and it goes from a light to dark so if you want to correct with it for under eyes and apply a concealer to under eyes the concealer pal palettes are great but I've been having a really hard time lately with my rosacea a lot of redness through here around my nose so I wanted a palette that I can use that can correct all that so this one has uh, you know the green to counterbalance redness the yellow or peachy colors to counteract dark circles if you're a little bit muddy colored they have some great options you can mix and match it's good to even out your skin tone so you have a nice balanced face to put apply your BB creams or foundation over so everything really looks flawless at the end and I know from having their concealer palette that this is going to be an equally as good product so I can't wait to start using this. The booth that I stopped by was the Crown Brush booth and we were actually there to look at some brushes for my mom. The Crown Brushes, she got a, a set a couple of years ago and has been using it ever since and when I stopped there with her to pick up another brush I saw this one and it reminds me of one of my Sigma brushes. but. It's just a pointed blender brush and I've got such a hard time getting into here. I usually use a beauty blender on my finger to do my concealer, but I thought this would be a great brush. It's really nice and compact. It's very dense. It's super, super soft. And I just thought for, uh, you know, really evening out my concealer after I apply it with my finger and I'll pat it on, go over it with this to blend it out. I thought this would just be a great brush and I can't wait to start using it okay so the next booth that I went to is one of my favorites uh, I love false eyelashes wear them all the time I'm wearing them now and these are actually Ardell's and that's exactly where this bag came from in a special for the show where you can pick up different lashes for $20 and I did end up definitely picking up eight different lashes a couple of them are the same so I won't show them but I ended up getting the the double individuals because I want to have the ability especially if I'm going into work to just uh, add a few individuals at the ends of my eyelashes to flip them out without it looking like I have a full strip of lashes on and you know overdoing it for work especially with meetings so I thought this would be a great option to work with I already wear these it's the black babies they're just a really tiny strip flared at the end this is just a great quality lash and I usually get a good 10 uses or more out of these if you take good care of them you you know you clean off the bands after you're done and the actual the band itself is clear and very very thin so when you put them on they look like natural lashes I had somebody at work ask me how do you get that flip that flare on your eyelashes and I told her they're not mine I bought them so this is one of those that I use the other one is scanties I love the look of this and I'll have close-up pictures on my blog if you guys want to go over there and look at these closely but these are such lightweight lashes they are super long on the outside and they have space in the middle so when you're going to a party or you want your lashes to really look obviously long and not blend into your hair these are one of the ones that I go to because it's just one of those really naturally long and luscious lashes and I, I can wear these all the time because they're so comfortable and so light then I got the Ardell runway Claudia in the color black I've not worn these before they look really similar to the scanties and they're just a bit more close together so I'll let you guys know how this feels on 
I got a couple of the self adhesive ones, and actually I also got double of the the scanties and the um, the babies. But I got two of the adhesive one, the self adhesive ones. They come with two self adhesive bands inside of the case. There, you just push it in to the the second row on the top, and it has another band of adhesive. And it's sometimes it's nice in the morning, especially if you're in a rush and you don't want to mess with your lash glue and and waiting for it to to dry, so it's tacky enough to put it on, so it's not slipping around. These are a great thing to have on hand. I travel with these all the time for work. It's just easier than worrying about, oh shoot, did I bring my lash glue with me? So these are, this was an especially good buy. At the show, you spend $20 and you get eight. Four of them would normally cost $20. So I thought it was a really good deal to basically 50% off. And trying out lashes, Get some Ardell's. They're great. They're at Walgreens. They're at Rite Aid. They're at CVS. They're everywhere. And they're just a really naturally light lash to work with. I've tried out e.l.f. I've tried out other ones. And I always keep going back to the Ardell's. So unless they're the higher end uh, mink lashes. But these are great everyday lashes. And you know you can throw them away if you ruin them. No big deal. Okay. So the next store that I've visited was really dangerous for me it's actually like an Ulta it's a beauty store that's um, out here in California and I don't know if it's anywhere else but this is the name I think it's called Naimi's and it basically has all of the makeup brands that you can think of you know Smashbox, Lorac, Tarte, um, Too Faced they sell it all it's kind of it's, it's the same as Ulta the way that they had it set up at the show is they had a different booth for each type of product. So they had a Japanese booth, they had a NARS booth, they had uh, they had all of the booths around. And you go up and you talk to these people, you say, oh, I want that, I want that. Well, they take your thing, they put it in a basket, and they rush it off to where their checkout stand is. And you can go shop at the other booths and not worry about carrying these products around and having to whip out your card a hundred different times. Instead, you go and shop at all of the different brands that they have available and all of your stuff is waiting for you when you get into line to pay. They give you this basket, you pay one time and you just bought from all of these different brands. The only problem with that is it's really easy to lose track of how much you're spending, which is what I did. So let's go ahead and see what all I picked up. So let's go ahead and start at the first booth that my cousin and I stopped by, which was the Japanese booth. I picked up a Japanese cleanser and a Japanese lipstick. And the cleanser, I was really curious because I wanted a bottle cleanser and usually I pick up Perian Spirit, which I was really looking forward to, but I couldn't find the booth right away. And I ended up you know, finding the Japanese booth, which I have Japanese brushes and, and liquid cleaner solid cleaner for actual regular brushes. I've seen the Beauty Blender one, but I'd never seen one made just for brushes, and that's exactly what this is. It's a solid brush cleaner, and it's literally, you wet your brush, you swirl it around in it, you, rin you rinse it off, your brush is supposed to be clean. It says, gentle goat milk cleansing balm, so it's supposed to condition and clean your brushes at the same time. The smell of it is just clean. It's kind of got a slight citrusy smell to it, but it's just really clean. It's not detergent-y smelling at all. It's not soapy smelling. It's just more of a citrusy and a light floral smell. Looking forward to trying this out. Second thing I bought from Japanesque was a lip color. The lady that was helping my cousin and I had this amazing burgundy lip. The product is the Pro Performance Lipstick and the shade is 08. And Oh, it's really, it's a nice thick bullet. Uh, it's got a little like watercolory kind of topper and then the bottom is the shade of the lipstick and it is very true to color. So if you look at the bottom and the top, there's the lipstick, there's the shade. It's a really accurate representation of the, the color that's in the tube. Let's go ahead and swatch this. Oh yeah. This is exactly the color that I remember the woman at IMAT's wearing. This is such a pretty, it's kind of like, 
a cranberry, not a burgundy, but a cranberry color. I think it'll look a bit deeper on my lips once I put it on. Like a satiny finish, it's not overly shiny or wet looking. It's a great color, and I think every girl should have this kind of berry cranberry color in their arsenal. It just complements so many skin tones. The next booth that caught my eye was the Smashbox booth, and I'm a big believer in Smashbox face primers. I think the, the silicone based primers they have are amazing. They have a good variety for different skin conditions, skin problems, you know, if you have perfect skin just to even it out and not, you know, have your pores, you know, staring everybody in the face. So when I saw that they were there and, you know, that everybody was giving these discounts or having special pricing, I was really excited to pick up another tube of my photo finish and this is the Color Correcting Adjust green primer and it's just another thing another layer of a green tint to really counterbalance the red in my face which is you know when it goes into the warmer months starts to get more and more obvious so i was really excited to pick up this it's just a regular face primer you guys can see it at alta sephora i swear by this stuff it's just really amazing stuff so the other product that I picked up from Smashbox was the Double Exposure Palette. I was really excited when I saw this given that it had all of their palettes in like a stair step display and this one was at the very bottom. has a bunch of colors and the coolest thing is it's meant to be used wet or dry without ruining the shadows when you get them wet. If you go out and use your regular eyeshadow palette and get it wet, it'll create this film on the top and it never ever gets the same color payout. It's never saturated or you know it's kind of slick on the top and it feels like you're digging in your brush to get some color after you wet it. This is not supposed to do that. I'm going to be doing a full review on this palette coming up but I just want to show you guys what it looks like really quick. It does come with a deluxe sample size of their Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. So I'll try this in the review and let you guys know how it goes. It has a really big uh, instructional card for different looks, different eye shapes. It's really cool. Do you guys get this as well? And then in the palette you get this really substantial mirror. The packaging itself is a good half an inch thick. It feels like a hard back book. It's so super durable. If I squeeze it really hard, I can't even make it bend. But if you go into it, you see all of the colors available on the little content card here, all of their names. So on the bottom of the palette, you do get a nice double-sided brush, and it looks like you get an angled brush and a flat shader brush. I have used uh, Smashbox brushes in the past, I do like them, it's it's pretty good quality. But just look at the variety that you're getting in this palette. You mean you have purples, blues, browns, blacks, naturals. It's really a comprehensive palette. It comes with a lot of different colors for that will complement a bunch of different skin tones. And I can't wait to see how this stuff transforms with water. You're supposedly able to use any number of these for eyeliners. You can, you know, make them a bit more metallic or, you know, more of a sheen by wetting them and placing them on your eyes. So I will do a full review of this when I get a chance. I haven't been able to swatch these for, um, for use yet. I'll take a picture and put them in my blog so you guys can see the colors a bit clearer. So keep an eye out for that. So the next booth that I went to in the Nanny's area was Too Faced. I absolutely love the Better Than Sex mascara and I was looking to get a full size of the product. But of course, when I got there, it had already sold out. I was a sad person. I looked at them like, how could you guys have already sold out? I've been wanting to buy the full size of the mascara and now it's just like a tease because I had this huge cardboard picture of the mascara and of course they, they had none left. So that, the other alternative was to pick up a palette and I already have the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and I love it. It's got, I've gotten so much use out of it. I've done tutorials with it. So I was really curious about what the semi-sweet was all about. So when I saw it at the show, I knew it was going home with me. And this is the packaging, really cute, really fun, really girly. When you go into it, the actual palette itself is made in the same way. It's tin outside. You get, you open it up, you have your mirror there, instructional booklet, and all of these colors. Just like the Smashbox palette I just showed you, this is a comprehensive little palette here. You wanna go travel and you wanna take every kind of color with you? Take this one. The best thing about it, it smells like chocolate. 
it's so yummy smelling it just it's a really cool palette you get some good highlights you can use them as highlight for your brow highlight for your face you've got some nice deep colors to create some shadows and definition in your eye some really nice neutral some fun oranges blues in there a bit um a bit of sparkle in here it runs the whole gamut as far as finishes and colors are concerned and i really love the quality and the color payout from Too faced palettes so i'm really excited to put this one to use get a tutorial together write a review for you guys so this too will be reviewed in upcoming video and blog last thing that i was so excited when i saw this booth in the 90s area was the beauty blender booth i absolutely love my beauty blender i use this every single day i'm wearing my infallible pro matte foundation today from l'oreal and i applied it with this it just makes it shears it out lovely it it really blends out your concealer well the only problem with this bad boy is this little sponge right here can cost you 20 bucks so if you don't have all the money in the world and you live paycheck paycheck you don't want to necessarily be bringing you know you don't necessarily want to just drop a 20 on a sponge but this sponge cannot be replaced. There are so many imitators out there. I have tried so many of them from Rite Aid, from beauty supply stores, from online, from everywhere. And nobody has the same consistency and feel to their sponge than what you get with the Beauty Blender. When I saw the booth at IMAX, I was so excited to see what kind of special they had and I wasn't disappointed. I got this bad boy right here. One sponge, like I said, cost 20 bucks. This cost me, I think, $35. And it comes with three, three full-size sponges, one of their mini sponge, and a, a solid cleanser. And this was all $35. So a fraction of the cost of what I normally pay, I got a pink one, a white one, the black one, the little mini detail one, and the solid cleanser for $35. I was so excited. I want a really good tool that just makes your foundation look flawless without a lot of know-how like using brushes right using the right amount of pressure use this put your foundation on your face bounce this around on it to blend out your foundation you can look flawless so if you do want to invest in a beauty tool you can afford 20 bucks pick one up so those are all of the products that i got from the naimi um, portion of the IMS and I'm probably butchering that four stores name but it's not close to me so I'm not really sure how they pronounce it so if you guys know put it down in the box below but I had such a good time in that area and especially the way that they make you shop and they're really sneaky because they do let you put all these things in your basket and you forget how much you bought and you overspend like I did so, so while my mom and my cousin and my brother and I were standing in line the line was super long it went all the way around the building down the street around the block around. it was you're we were literally behind the convention center waiting but the line went really fast but while we were waiting some of the vendors were smart and came out with their little promotional cards and were handing them out and kind of saying hey check out our booth which we did and this is how we found this place called a pill cosmetics and their special was if you buy a pair of their mink lashes you get the a lipstick for free so i was like oh i don't know i just picked up you know I, I picked up a whole bunch of lashes from ardell do i really want to invest in a pair of mink ones let's go check it out over and they had this cute little setup with all of the lash styles they have on these little sticks you can put them up to your eye see exactly how it's going to look with the, with them on and i ended up with the model interlace and it's these right here they are those lashes that crisscross on each other like that and flare out at the end. They're super soft, such a great feel. And when talking to the salesperson there, these are supposed to last for a good 20 uses. I will actually probably be doing a video on my favorite lashes. I'm gonna experiment with the individuals I got from the Ardell collection. I other mink lashes in my stash I have some less expensive lashes so I'll probably do a video on my favorite lashes from full strips to individuals and let you guys know how I apply them what I like which brands I like best which brands I like least so keep an eye out for that video as well and since I bought the lashes from appeal cosmetics I got the free lipstick and I was looking for a good nude color and with my skin tone it really depends because most of the time 
new to just disappear on me. And so at, at this booth, I saw this color right here and the name of it is Naked. And it's a really beautiful pinky brown nude. And I thought it's almost, it's really close to what I'm wearing today. It's a bit warmer. And I just thought this was good. This would be a great color where when I do more dramatic eyes to balance it out with a more nude lip. And especially with the Sigma lip concealer, I think this is gonna go on great. Um, let's go ahead and swatch it for you. So that's the color right there. I don't know if you guys can even see it. My lights are kind of bright tonight. And it's just a really pretty nude color and I'm really excited to see how it works and possibly pick up more from them online. So if you guys are interested in it, I will put the website for all of the products and for the stores that I picked them up on on my blog. So go ahead and check out MakeupMyWorld.com if you guys wanna shop these stores. So the last booth that I went to was the booth that I was looking for immediately after the Sigma booth. I thought about it because I just picked up brushes. I need to get my brush cleaner. And this is my standard. This is my standby. I absolutely love this brush cleaner. I go between this and regular dish soap. Dish soap can tend to dry out your brushes. So, you know, you got to use them sparingly. I use dish soap on brushes that have like foundation or lip gloss or you know those more sticky um consistencies that are harder to get out of brushes but for like eyeshadow and everything else i use this and normally i use this for even the foundation and everything else but i was running out of it so i didn't use it a lot recently when i went to imats a couple years ago i picked up this exact same kit that they have put together for the convention and it consists of a full-size bottle of the parian spirit brush cleanser and then on top of that they give you a travel size version of it so this has a spray bottle top on it and you can go ahead and just spray this directly onto your brush then take your brush and wipe it against uh, a paper towel it's good to go it's great for those cleanups right after you use your brushes um, in the morning or at the end of the day when you get home if you want to just you know clean them really quick and not do a whole full deep cleaning these will get your brushes so clean and also it's really good if you have a very limited amount of brushes and you want to be able to wash them and do a, the same look this stuff dries really quickly and so you can clean up your brush you know kind of shake it out and let it dry for a couple of minutes and it's good to go again you can use a different color with the same brush so this stuff's amazing and given that it's a trial size it's nice to travel with this i always have this bottle with me not this one because i just picked it up but my other one with me and you always you know just top it off and refill with this bottle it's amazing stuff it will get your brushes so white again if they're white in color and it has a great citrusy smell to it which i actually love the other item that comes in the kit is this cleanser jar and when you see it you're like why the heck did they give me a jar well they give you a cap for your big bottle so it has a little spout so when you do you know change out the the caps it's easier to fill up your bottle and put some cleanser into this jar so you go ahead and you know pour cleanser into this jar and at the bottom of the jar you have this little mesh plastic canvas screen that looks like a, a circular waffle and then you have this little ring and the mesh actually sits on top of the ring so you have your fluid underneath it at the bottom of the jar and when you're actually cleaning your brushes you're agitating them against this plastic canvas like a grate and it really works the product into the brushes so you get a deeper clean the, and the thing i like about it because it's a smaller jar not a big huge um bowl you don't have to keep changing out the water and using a lot of um, fluid you take this you put in your your fluid you use it as many times as you want until the the fluid gets cruddy you pour it out you can rinse off the, the little grates if you want, if it, if it got stained, put in more and keep washing. And it's, it's just a really cool system to use. The item that they give you in the kit uh, for the convention are these makeup wipes travel pouches. So they're, um, they're just a brush cleaner in makeup wipe form. And I actually don't use this to clean my brushes. Believe it or not, I put these in my purse just in case I get makeup on myself. So say I'm hugging somebody and I transfer my makeup onto their shoulder because I'm super short and I, every, I come up to here on everybody and I'm always putting makeup on somebody. 
or um, if you are taking a shirt off in a dressing room and you end up getting, you know, cause your foundation right on your, your neckline, you can take one of these from your purse, rub it on there, and it'll take the makeup off. It's an amazing cleanser in this form. Those shout stain remover packets, this stuff is amazing. Brushes are never going to be cleaner from this point on. So I really encourage you guys, if you don't have a good brush cleaning routine down, get one. Wash your brushes at least once a week, if not every other day. You don't have to do a full cleaning every other day, but at least wipe them up. Spot clean them as they go. If you notice that you're getting a really dingy brush and you're using it over and over, you're going to end up with breakouts. You're going to have bacteria in that brush. You're going to end up with acne spots. You're, you're not going to be happy. You're going to be wondering, why the heck am I breaking out? Well, if you don't clean your brushes, you're just putting the same oil, dirt, and grime back on your face every single time. And if you're not washing your, your eye brushes, you're really running the risk of picking up an eye infection or sty, something like that. So be really conscientious when it comes to your brushes and the tools that you use on your face because your skin is your biggest organ in your body and you do have to treat it with respect. So that's really it for my IMATS haul. It's such a good time going. I was so lucky that my mom and my cousin and my brother decided to go along with me. I really appreciate it. I want to send a thank you out to them for standing in line while I was gallivanting around the convention for my cousin for you know, letting me drag her up and down the aisles, looking at booths and, you know, whether I bought stuff or not, or just sitting there watching people put makeup on somebody else, for my brother for taking pictures, my mom for taking us out there and for, you know, just spending their day with me. I really am so fortunate to have such a loving and close family and so many people take that for granted and I don't want to. I really, truly appreciate everything they do and the way that they enable me to be more of a makeup junkie. So. Thank you to Mom, G, and, and Kurt. I really appreciate you guys. And if you guys do see me at next year's I Am At, please come up to me. I would love to meet you guys. I would love to have a conversation and get to know you guys more on a personal level. I don't consider you all, you know, subscribers or whatever. I want to have friends this way. You know, when people talk about YouTube, I want to have serious, like, pen pals. I want to get to know people who live outside of the country, who live down the street. I just want to know who all are interested in the same things that I am. And you know, you don't even have to be great at doing your makeup or if you want to come up to me and ask me, you know, how do I do this or whatever, please come in and talk to me. I would love it. Even if you see me out on the street, I look torn up. I don't care. Really, I would appreciate to meet you guys and get to know you guys. You're the whole reason I do this. I love being able to have conversations and get to know so many of the people I already have. I think I'm going to have lifelong friends from doing this and I really, truly appreciate you guys. So if you have a chance, please come up to me. Tell me what you want to see, what you don't want to see. If you're new to the channel, like I said, I could never use enough friends. Please come up and you know, please subscribe to the channel so you guys see what I have coming up and give me your feedback on what you'd like to see next time if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up i'd like to know if you guys still want me to keep doing these haul videos these unboxings and all and reviews and stuff like that i want to know if i'm on the right track to what you guys want to see and as usual i don't ever want you guys to forget don't be afraid to be your perfectly imperfect you i have so many imperfections Try not to harp on all of them, but just embrace who you are and love who you are and be confident with what you have. And yourself, be kind to one another and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Click on the video above to get another glimpse into my world. And don't forget to visit my website MakeUpMyWorld.com for more details on me and the products reviewed here today. Also be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My details are below. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.